everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Hi everybody, it's Joe. Welcome back out to Giga Texas. It is Monday, the 20th of May, 2024. And as you can see, I brought my co-star, the Cybertruck, with me today. And it's been a great day to fly. We got some interesting information that has to do with the South End Extension. And I'm going to dedicate a good portion of the flight today for the South End so that we can discuss that. Now, on Sunday, Jeff Roberts uh, posted a few photos that he took during his flight around Giga Texas. And Elon Musk responded back to the photos that Jeff Roberts uh, posted. And he was talking about what's going on with the South End Extension. And in particular, he was talking about the plans that they have for the South End when it comes to the new computer center. And now what Elon Musk said, and you can tell by the, what's on the screen here, is that the rear portion of the factory extension, the part furthest away from the glass, will be a super dense, water-cooled supercomputer cluster. And with this image, I've given you an idea of where that is located. It's kind of in that central section that's been the last part of the steel structure that's been assembled and that we know from some of the photos that I've shown, including some of these today, that there are several different floors in that area. Some of them are mezzanine levels, which means halfway uh, between one floor and the other, and some of them are main floors, but this entire area looks a lot different than the rest of the structure. Now, we also see in this image some of these large pipes that are part of what will be the cooling system that uh, was discussed by Elon's post. And we've seen a lot of these pipes being manufactured and moved into the factory on this side of the, uh, the west side of the extension. And as you can see by this image on the far east side of the construction site, this is where most of that fabrication work is being done. In addition to that, we see that over that section of the extension that Elon talked about, the roof materials are very different than what we've seen on some of the other parts in the rest of the Giga Texas. And specifically, instead of using two layers of insulation and then a weatherproof membrane, in this particular case, looks like they're gluing the weatherproof membrane directly to the roof. This suggests that we may see additional work on this part of the roof, possibly holes cut in for additional cooling systems. And that may be related to the Evapco coolers that we've seen on the west side staging. Now, speaking of cooling systems, as you know by following my channel, we've talked a lot about permits for the Southeast Cooling Structural Platform. And that work is progressing quite rapidly as well. They have those fiber reinforced plastic uh, rods and that structure that's being built on top of that reinforced roof section, as you can see by this image from this morning. In addition to this, we just recently talked about what this is, and I'll throw this slide back up from our previous discussion, but this is Evaptech cooling units, and most likely with these fiber reinforced uh, plastic pipes that are being installed, we're going to see something like what you see in this image here. And all of this is related to that South End Extension and that data center. So there is a lot more that we can see in this particular uh, part of the site today. That's why I'm gonna spend so much time here. And we'll visit the west side. We'll see what's going on with production and a few other sites. But this was the most important thing that I wanna cover in the intro today. So without further ado, let's get into the drone, let's fly around, and let's see what Giga Texas looks like today, and we're armed with additional information about what's going on with the South End. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video, as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.
I started flying early on Monday morning here on the south end because that is where most of the discussion items are going to be, especially with Elon Musk's recent post about the purpose of this south end. Here is that uh, quote. Uh, he talked about a super dense, water-cooled supercomputer cluster. I'm giving you an idea of where that is located here on the extension. Also on the right-hand side is that Evaptec cooling units that are going on that structural platform. And uh, there's going to be a lot more that uh, you can find in the intro, but uh, we'll talk throughout the video as well. Now, we're going to start off high altitude, give you a good view of the entire south extension, how it is looking today. A lot of work on that roof center section. And as I pointed out, that is a different material and process than what we see on the white sections on further to the south. Also a good view of all of the glass for that front facing of the south end and that glass parapet wall is taking shape from that southeast corner. Now on the ground here, we see a lot of materials and other items getting ready to be installed around this section of the factory. First, a good look in at the southeast corner. You can see how the ground slab is continuing to take shape with multiple different levels and the grade work in between those concrete walls. The cooling structural platform itself is Definitely taking shape. Some of the red scaffolding on the north end has been removed almost halfway uh, down to the south. We also see that uh, kind of the installed framework and then that uh, FRP or the fiber reinforced uh, plastic uh, pipe segment, which is now uh, several different uh, altitudes or elevations above that uh, reinforced roof section. And uh, this is a good view as I get in closer of how this is taking shape. Some of the kind of the wall panel units are now being installed, which will form the uh, kind of the perimeter wall of the fan units. We also see some of the pipes being installed. Many of these black pipes that you can see in the left hand side of the screen have holes in them for some of the water. And we'll get a closer view here shortly. What I'm trying to show you here is that this steel on the ground may be the last segments of steel to be installed on the steel structure. As I bring the drone back up, you can tell that one additional beam of the steel is remaining to be installed. That means that we should be seeing the tree topping ceremony soon, which would mean that the overall structure of the south end is now completed. So that would be a nice milestone to be able to see. As I turn further to the east, I want to show you River Road Extension, that water detention pond, and how the reshaping of the main pond is looking today. And as I continue to fly to the east along the River Road Extension, good view of where it will intersect with Robotic Avenue heading off to the north or the top of the screen. Also, we can see that some of this road continues off further through the tree belt to the east, and eventually that will be developed as a road that will continue all the way around to the northeast side. But for right now, most of the work is on this intersection. A good view of the multi-level parking garage, and one of the things that we see on the uh, east side is a pump truck with several concrete trucks lining up. They are pouring concrete into the, looks like the, maybe the sixth floor right now. And they're continuing to work on finishing up the concrete pour on this part of the site and that structure. Good view of Robotic Avenue as it continues to get new paving on the right and a close in view of the pump trucks and the work that is going on inside to finish off this part of the structure. Now about two thirds of this structure has already had most of the concrete poured on the ground in the middle of the screen. You can see where that concrete slab on the bottom has ended and then you could also see some rebar where they're getting ready to start pouring the rest of it. The other thing that I want to show you in addition to the roof with the markings and the light Light post is on the ground. We do not see any of the cyber trucks parked on the ground floor like we did on my previous video. That suggests that it may have been just temporary because of some of the inclement weather that came through and the strong thunderstorms. So right now, I do not see any cyber trucks in the multi-level parking garage at this time, but that doesn't mean that that won't happen again in the future. So as I zoom back out, a good view of the overall progress on this part of the site. 
Now, since we're over the roof section, a few things that I want to show you is, first, you can see that pipe segment on the bottom of the screen and along the parapet wall on the left-hand side of the screen, also where it kind of connects down into the uh, roof section. That extends now the entire length of the building, starting up from the paint shop all the way down to the stamping section. And this is also the open section where we know there's cooler units for a data center for the body and white section portion of the factory as well. Now, as I come over towards the parapet wall, I'll give you a better look at some of the pipe work that is underway. Also, we see some temporary stairs on that temporary platform. And that platform does not look like it's going to be used necessarily for bringing large items. It looks like it may be um, possibly uh, for either the workers or maybe to uh, just uh, temporarily set some lighter items and then uh, have them installed. But it is a different kind of temporary platform. We also see some uh, railing here. It looks like conduit on top of these pipes may be in order. As we get back towards this part of the site, I'll give you a good view of that uh, FRP reinforced uh, structure. And this image on the bottom right shows you what this may look like. You can compare the wall panels to the image and you can see that it is very similar. So the EVAP tech cooling units on that top part of that structure continue to be making a lot of progress. Now these tanks at the bottom of the screen may be related to that. It might be a lot of water that is needed for the cooling system to be operational. A good look at the remaining steel, just that one beam on the left that uh, needs to be in place, and then the entire main steel structure will be completed. And a good view down here where the extension of Stamping 2 uh, used to be by itself is now completely enclosed with the steel. We see more of the roof and the floor decking being installed along this entire section. And uh, it has now extended all the way to the original parapet wall on the right-hand side of the screen of the structure. And this is a good close-in view of how this part of the roofing material differs wildly from what we've seen before. We don't see the large uh, double layer of insulation being applied uh, before the weatherproof membrane. In fact, we see this gray material going down first being glued onto the decking. And then uh, I'll continue to fly over in this direction to show you how some of the insulation panels are still waiting for installation, probably on this side of the factory. But as I turn back, you can tell and compare between the gray on the left and the white on the right. The white on the right has the double insulation panels and then the weatherproof membrane, the part on the left, and you can see where the workers are, does not. So anyway, uh, that suggests that we may see uh, eventual cutting through that part of the roof, maybe opening it up for some other of the Vapco fan units that we know are on the west side. But we'll see for sure very soon, and I'll continue to monitor that, and we'll figure out what's going on. As we fly up over the parapet wall here on the southeast corner, another good look at that cooling structural platform. Some of the items on the ground waiting for installation as well. We can see these large black pipes that is a part of that cooling system. And uh, some additional looks like the FRP uh, poles on the ground waiting for their turn to be installed. Additional containers and other equipment plus rebar on the ground uh, as well. As I maneuver the drone here carefully on the southeast side, I want to give you a good close-in view of the parapet wall so you can see its structure. The uh, beams going down connect to the uh, glass panels. You can see the black frames. You can see the framed-in steel part of the parapet wall, and then you can see the glass panels that are being installed on front of it to give that whole front of this or the south side of the building that look that it's 100% glass. And as I bring the drone down lower, a good look at that entire south end glass, plus some of the smaller square sections of glass on those racks on the ground, and then more of the crates for the C-deck glass, the large panes that continue to be installed on the southwest corner working its way along that section. And we'll get a good view of that here momentarily. But as I get around this southwest corner, it's a good view of how this is shaping up. The yellow crane with the uh, uh, kind of the suction cup lifting device for the glass underneath that white tarp next to that entrance. 
And uh, this is actually pretty good to uh, get a close in view because not only can we see how the glass is being shaped around that entrance, but with this zoom in view, you can get a good view of how this is being installed. The black painted columns, which will be the places where the glass is installed and how this is being framed out along this side. In addition to that, we can see all those pipes that uh, mentioned in the intro that are being uh, prepared for part of the cooling system. There's Elon Musk's quote again, and then you can see where the arrows are pointing to those mezzanine levels. And I believe that is uh, all being done because of that data center. And that's a good view looking inside of where that will be constructed. As I continue to maneuver the drone here, I'll come down a little to try to block the sun. Also give you a different view of both the upper floors and the mezzanine levels and the lower floor where we see more concrete has been poured across this section. The open part of the um, perimeter grade beam where that section in the middle where it's all dirt, we're starting to see if whether the boring tunnels will be going through into that area or somewhere else. Another good view here on this corner with a mezzanine level for the first floor, the opening into the original part of the factory the rubbish chutes, and of course the exit point for the Cybertrucks coming out of the factory for the first time. And Cybertruck production uh, seems to be uh, pretty robust right now. We can see a few next to the trailers and a lot more on the east and the outbound lot on the west side. And based on some information that I have seen, we're looking at over 200 per day now as the sustained build rate for Cybertrucks. Model Ys, on the other hand, are a different uh, story, and uh, they are not as uh, prolific as building the uh, production of the Model Ys as they are with the Cybertrucks. So let's cross over the highway and let's take a look at the far southwest corner of the site today. Looks like there's some small earthwork being done on this triangular uh, parking lot. No paving yet, but we do see the mounts and the electrical for the lighting system. And I don't see any work in that clearing in the top left of the screen right now. So uh, maybe it's because of rains recently, or maybe they're finished for this stage of that uh, development but I'll continue to monitor that area. As we take a look at this uh, Western uh, material staging location, a few things of note, we can see more superchargers on the bottom of the screen. We can see those glass panels on the right-hand side of the screen that were removed from the south end, some of which may be used for that parapet wall on the south end as well. More of the ducting in the bottom of the screen for that opening on the body in white roof. This orange and white uh, tent area has got some very interesting pipe segments, and I'm going to maneuver the drone back around and show you what they look like. Uh, I'm not sure if these are related to the cooling systems on the south end that we talked about earlier or not, but uh, as you can see, there's some pretty intricate uh, uh, pipes being welded onto these sections. And uh, definitely be worth watching for these to see where they are developed and delivered around the site for installation. That'll give us a pretty good clue of what they are for. More materials on the right-hand side of this uh, material staging yard. And then next to these housing units, this is where the utilities have been uh, in the process of being connected to the existing utilities that ser serves that uh, housing uh, area. And as we get back closer to the outbound lot, a good view of uh, just some of the model Ys. Again, the production rate is not that high right now. Also, that clearing where the asphalt will be uh, eventually uh, placed, and that will greatly extend the size of this outbound lot. And uh, what you will note is the number of cyber trucks that are arranged ready for pickup. And again, this is early Monday morning, so... Uh, it'll take a few hours for all of this to come up to speed. So by the time I've left the site and went back home, I'm sure that there was a lot more activity here. We do see more of the Cybertrucks being stored temporarily on this north end unit. 
and uh, this gives you a good look at uh, the number here. The numbers overall are smaller than what we have seen, and I think that's an indication that a lot have been transported off the site. And hopefully, as we continue to see more and more deliveries to customers, we'll start getting a pretty good idea of what the overall production numbers actually are and where we are with the ramp for the Cybertrucks. The end-of-line facility is relatively busy on the north end with Cybertrucks uh, being prepared and ready to go inside for processing. That cafeteria does not look like it's very active right now, but again, it is the early morning on this uh, Monday. The test track has got a couple of Model Ys driving through it. Uh, not a lot of activity there either. And what I want to try to do here, since I have viewers asking me to see if I can tell if there's any gray interiors or the new tires and wheels, um, get a good close-in view here. And I do not see any difference right now as far as the color of the interior of the wheels. So if you see anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll continue to check on this uh, area of the uh, site. And hopefully soon we'll get a chance to see uh, maybe some of those uh, changes. The supercharger lot is uh, maybe about 50% uh, used at this moment in time, certainly not as busy as we've seen in the past. We do see a lot of the Quicksilver gray model Ys now. I, I think that may be a very popular color uh, for them as it's uh, a relatively new color. And in my opinion, it's uh, a lot prettier than the darker gray color. So anyway, this is a good view of the activity on the south end of the end-of-line facility and also looking across that uh, clearing where they are preparing for more of the asphalt in the near future. As we continue to fly to the south, let's take a look at the Boring Company operations today. You can see that the excavator is working at the spoils bin to remove dirt. That suggests that some level of tunneling has happened over the last uh, 48 hours. Uh, but there's not a lot going on at this moment in time. But again, it is a early Monday morning. We do see that the ventilation ducting is operational. And they have a filtration system for the inlet to that uh, orange uh, kind of that ducted fan and then that yellow pipe going on the inside. Here's a good view of that uh, spoils bin, the amount of dirt that uh, is in this area. And uh, again, there's no motion on the uh, conveyor belts or the belts uh, cassette itself. Uh, but uh, clearly some activity has been underway. Now, some people have asked if I can take a look at that belt cassette and know how deep the tunnel is. And the answer is no, not really. Um, because they keep adding more spools of the belt as they need it, as the tunneling boring machine continues to go into the tunnel. And it's really hard to really know for sure. But if you happen to have expertise in that and you can tell, uh, let me know in the comments of the video. So let's get ready to cross back over the highway and resume on the other side. Next to the West Main entrance, there's a nice display with a Cybertruck and the graffiti trailer. Now, the graffiti trailer was done late last year or middle of last year uh, for an event that was open to shareholders. And it looks like they're using it as a backdrop here for the Cybertruck. Uh, pretty cool to be able to see that continuing to being used. And if you look at the graffiti closely, it mimics the main entrance. Not a lot of activity here at the Model Y end of line exit point from the factory today. We do see a little bit of work here with pumps and this underground uh, sewage or treated water system, 
but I don't see very many workers on that part of the uh, site. We do see a little bit of workers here, and this is related to that horizontal drilling and the fiber optic cables that were being installed on this part of the uh, factory. As we continue to maneuver towards the 4680 battery cell portion of the factory, I wanted to stop here quickly, take a look at the progress or lack thereof of this uh, cleared section and that green door, not a lot of changes. I did notice something very interesting here. In addition to this large blue bin with the cans for the 4680s being prepared for recycling, and next to these wooden crates, I saw these kind of rollers. And I'm not 100% sure what these are. Um, they look fairly massive. Um, they uh, may be part of production for the 4680s, or it may be something completely different. I can't say for sure, but if you happen to know, uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comment sections of the video, as that would be very helpful. So let's fly up around the northwest corner and take a look at the activity on the north part of the factory. There are some deliveries of materials on the north side of the 4680 where we know inside continued work for preparing additional production lines is underway. As we fly along the north face of the paint shop, I'm going to actually turn to the north and fly up over the parking lot and Tesla Road because I want to show you the progress with the electrical conduit that is going underway. You can see the uh, excavations under and through Tesla Road in two locations and also through the median and a lot of the work here where they've been covering up much of the electrical conduits that have been installed in these trenches. In addition to that, there's uh, some additional work being done up here next to where the trailers used to be for the construction offices for the Megapack site. And now it's pretty much an empty uh, lot with the exception of a few materials on the bottom of the screen. And as I maneuver the drone back around, you get a good view of all of the conduit that has been in place and now reburied and how this section is looking right now. And uh, in a future video, I'm going to show you a permit that shows part of Tesla Road actually going in a loop through this section. So more changes are underway for that area. Now, as we resume back towards the north east corner of casting, we can see the marks on the ground where additional trenching and where the trenching is underway for the conduit on this part of the factory. Also see the concrete vaults where the conduit makes a turn and then enters into the factory. On the east side, we get a good view of all the castings and the racks on the right hand side. This uh, receiving door that used to be three now being combined into one large one. The work on the dirt section here, preparing for screw type piers. And then this foundation for the bag house filtration plant, how it is continuing to make progress. Today we see crews adding more and more rebar from the south working to the north on the mud base and within the forms. And this will form the entire uh, slab for this structure. So good to see this progress uh, now. The rate that they are going most likely by maybe Wednesday or certainly the end of the week, we'll see concrete poured in this section. As we continue to fly south along the east side, a good view of some of the construction along the east side of the main factory. And I'm gonna bring the drone down here to give you a good view of the old testing and calibration lot where we see Many cyber trucks being stored now on the south end of the uh, parking lot rather than on the north end where you see those uh, V2 chargers stations. We do see a few at the superchargers, uh, but as I maneuver the drone around, this gives you a good view of the number of cyber trucks parked here. Now, unlike Friday where we saw a number of them in the multi level parking garage, we don't see that anymore. So all we see is what is here, and some of the numbers here are the inventory. Looks like it has changed out to some degree since Friday. I'm going to bring the drone up, fly back towards the east, and give you a good view of the progress here 
on this part of the site and then as we cross over the tree belt you're going to see at the bottom of the screen the recycling center that's used to recycle all kinds of materials and in some cases some of the structural packs for Giga Texas and in addition to that as I continue to pull away at the bottom of the screen we're going to see some of the workshops that are responsible for ma manufacturing and fabricating the pipes that are being used for the cooling systems for that south extension and that cooling structural platform. So as I continue to maneuver on the drone, you can see on the bottom of the screen some of those pipes, more pipes being ready for fabrication on the right-hand side of the screen. And in addition to that, we see some uh, black and gray pipe segments being prepared at the bottom of the screen, and then these two large pipe sections, which mimics what we have seen in the west side, second floor of that south extension. So that'll bring to a close the video for today. I'll bring the drone up higher to give you a good view of the factory from this east side. I hope you enjoyed what we were able to see and talk about. Thank you very much for your support. Have a great week.